What is up guys, Jason here. Welcome back to the channel. So we finally made it. This month we reached 1000 subs thanks to all of you who keep supporting this channel. And because of all of you, we finally got access to the community tab. Through the community tab, I'm gonna be able to communicate with you guys on a regular basis. I'm gonna be submitting polls, asking you guys for your feedback. And for the first poll, I asked you guys what video you want me to post next. The first one being my step-by-step -step process on how to apply for Kaiser. The second one being our favorite neighborhoods in Sacramento. And the third one, I asked you guys if you want me to post a video on how we spend our money on a $350,000 yearly income. And without further ado, the results speak for themselves. 46% of you want me to post a video on how to apply for jobs at Kaiser Permanente. And that's what this week's video is gonna be. And next week's video is going to have to be on how we spend our money on an income of $350,000 per year. But the week after that, I will be posting a video on our favorite neighborhoods in Sacramento. So if you find this video helpful, make sure you hit the like button below because YouTube is more likely to promote our videos to other viewers. All right guys, so with that said, let's move on to the video. All right, so the first thing I need to tell you guys is that when I first applied for jobs at Kaiser, it took me about eight months before I first found the job. I applied to jobs almost every single time I saw a job posting. And the first hospital I worked at when I moved to California with Monica was Sutter Roseville. I took the job because I knew we needed to move to California at the very least. And once at Sutter Roseville, I knew I would not stop applying for jobs at Kaiser until they hired me. So for those of you that have been applying, just understand that it can take months before you get a job at Kaiser. And another thing I want you guys to know is that I also applied for Kaiser Permanente jobs for Monica. And it took Monica at least four or five interviews at different hospitals before she managed to land her job at Kaiser Permanente. Actually, she had first gotten a job at Dignity Health. And while she was orienting, they called her from Kaiser Permanente to let her know they were offering her a position. So I'm gonna let you guys know the exact steps that I took to apply for jobs for myself as well as jobs for Monica. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is open up your web browser. You're gonna go to Kaiser Permanente Jobs on your web browser and you're gonna click on Kaiser Permanente Careers. Then you're gonna click on My Profile. Here, you're going to create a new profile with a new username and password. Go ahead and put in this information. Once you complete this information, it's gonna take you to the next page when you click on register. All right, after you click on register, make sure that you save your password and you're gonna scroll down to the bottom right and you're gonna see access my profile under the candidate profile tab. You're gonna click on access my profile through here and it's gonna take you to the section where you're gonna upload your resume and you can go ahead and browse through your computer. You can select either a PDF, a Word and many other options. Okay, on the next page, you're gonna continue Continue to complete your application. You're gonna select the source type, who it was that referred you to this job. Sometimes when you upload your resume, it automatically populates this information on here. But because it didn't do it with my resume, you're just going to have to enter this information manually. Make sure you complete all of these sections, otherwise it's not gonna let you go to the next step. Also, right below, it's gonna ask you if you're also interested in applying for temporary contract opportunities with Kaiser approved staffing suppliers who hire and place staff at Kaiser Permanente. Make sure you select yes for this option because Kaiser works with traveling agencies and one of the best ways to get into Kaiser Permanente is through a traveling agency. You wanna make sure that you select yes for that option. A lot of the nurses that we work with are travelers. They oftentimes work two contracts before they get hired permanently within the organization. So this is a great tip for those of you that are having a hard time getting into the system. Them. Here, you're gonna enter your work experience and make sure you fill out all of this information as well. And you don't have to enter your reason for leaving your current job, but you can say something like you're just looking to expand your career opportunities. All right, then make sure you list all of your responsibilities and achievements. Afterwards, you're gonna enter the school you got your degree from. You can click on enter program if you don't know the name of the program. I just typed in nursing and I selected nursing from the list. Then under certification, make sure you enter your nursing license and your nursing license number. You have to enter the issue date and the expiration date. And here you can add any volunteer experience if you have some. 
All right, then you're gonna hit save and continue and move on to the next part of the application process. This part of the application process is very important. This is where you're going to be signing up for job posting notifications. This was the most important step for me because I received notifications in my email on a daily basis. When you are one of the potential candidates that is receiving notifications on a daily basis and applies immediately, you are more likely to get selected for a job interview. So make sure you sign up for these job posting notifications and you can select more than one specialty you can tailor it any way you want here i selected the emergency department and med search you can also select the state and the city that you want to work in i selected california as the state and sacramento and roseville as the cities and next is going to ask you if you want to upload another file for this example i just uploaded my resume but previously when i did apply for jobs i uploaded a cover letter my transcripts from school as well as a couple of recommendation letters that i received from my co-workers and managers at the time all right when you're done with this section it's going to ask you if you want to review your application make sure you review everything and everything on there is accurate after you hit the submit button it's time to start searching for jobs the first thing you're going to do is click on the search jobs link on the top right of the page then under search terms i want you to narrow your results by rn's only and it's going to load up positions that are for rn's only Next, you're going to select the category. Under category, you're going to select nursing licensed and physician assistants. Under the state, you're going to choose California because this is where you want to move to, right? As for the city, you can choose either Sacramento or Roseville. Those two locations are fairly close to one another. They're about 20 to 25 minutes away from each other. And next, you're going to select individual contributor for the job level. And lastly, you can select what type of job schedule or shift you want. In my opinion, I would leave those blank because if you were willing to apply for any one of those positions, you're more likely to get hired. Okay, once your results are filtered, open up every single position that you're interested in a new tab. And after you're done, I want you to start clicking on one position after another. Look at the type of qualifications that are needed. For this position, they need a minimum of six months of experience or one year of recent experience as a registered nurse in the emergency department. This is going to be a 20 hour a week position. And for those of you that don't know, Kaiser often hires nurses for eight hour shift positions positions. That means that this nurse that's working 20 hours per week is actually working 40 hours on a bi-weekly basis. 40 hours on a bi-weekly basis, if you divide it by eight hour shifts, is going to equal to five days in a two week period. And the way that this works for this particular schedule, you're going to be coming in on the first week of the pay period on Sunday and Monday. You're going to have off Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and you're going to come back on Sunday. Then you're going to have off on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and you're going to work again on Friday and Saturday. Doesn't that sound sweet? I mean, you're going to be working night shift here and you're going to be getting the night shift differential. Plus you get all of these days off. I mean, damn, that is a really nice position and I should probably apply for it, but I like where I'm working right now. So I'm probably going to stay in my current position. And for those of you that don't know and haven't seen my videos, if you're working 20 hours or more at Kaiser, you qualify for every single benefit that a full-time employee qualifies for. That means you qualify for sick time, paid time off, for health insurance, all of those benefits that a full-time employee gets, you will get them also. All right, let's scroll back up. And if you're interested in this position, you're gonna click submit interest. Now, because we completed our profile, you will not have to enter all of this information again over and over and over. So go ahead and complete all of this and then it's gonna screen you with a couple of other questions. These questions here, you're going to have to answer every time you submit an application. Then if it asks you if you have any relatives at Kaiser Permanente and you do, make sure you enter their name here because you're more likely to get hired when you have a relative working at Kaiser Permanente. And here, just go ahead and select the resume that you already uploaded. All right, and the last part of the application process is just reviewing what you're submitting for this job posting. Go ahead and submit it, and then you can view your submissions under the View Submissions tab. In this case, I'm just gonna withdraw this application because I don't want it to clog up the system. Okay, next, you just wanna open up one tab after another and go ahead and either click Submit Interest or Add to Favorites. I'm just gonna add all of these to my favorites so that I can go to my Favorites tab and submit my interest through there. You're just gonna go through the same process over and over and over again, and you're going to be doing this as soon as you receive a job posting notification. Remember, when you receive these notifications, the sooner you apply for these jobs, the more likely you are to receive a job interview and ultimately get hired. So 
apply as soon as you receive these notifications. All right, guys, I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, make sure you hit the like button and stick around for next week's video because I'm gonna show you guys exactly how Monica and I spend our money on an income of $350,000 a year. So with that said, I'll see you guys on the next one.